A new DLC vehicle has arrived here in GTA Online today with the new update. We also have bonuses to make tons of money fast, new property and vehicle discounts to take advantage of and enjoy, plus some other free rewards and boosts to help you out with your businesses here in game. There's a decent bit to go over and we have it all right here today on the show, so make sure you stick around. If you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So let's start off with the big news here today. First, Rockstar released the SM772, which is now available in game for $2,115,000. This car is based off the Mercedes Sterling Moss, and it's very fast here in game. I'm gonna have a video out on the channel next going over all the customization options with it because there's a lot of them. You know, we're gonna add all the performance upgrades and of course do a little test drive and give a review. But so far, my first impressions are of course the car looks great and sounds great. That's no question here, but there is a bit of understeer at high speeds and also ultimately if you try and corner too hard in this vehicle because it is very powerful and it's rear wheel drive it feels like you're driving on ice and this thing is just going to continue to slide in the direction depending on the direction that you're cornering it so either left or right and it's you know overall fun to drive but it definitely feels a little bit floaty around some corners compared to some other vehicles and rear wheel drive vehicles that you like to drive in gta online next up luxury autos just released this week in game and you can check out what the official storefront looks like here with this gameplay i'll be honest though it's sort of underwhelming as there's only two vehicles right now which are the turismo r and of course the new omnis egt and it just feels like a lackluster promotion that rockstar has thrown into this game you might as well be able to inspect all the vehicles off legendary motorsport and not not just these two in my opinion I don't know why they have you limited those like little podiums that they're on should be replicated with every single vehicle if you want to inspect and before you purchase it right and then also Simeon showroom is also now available this week the cars featured are the Dubsta 2 which is actually really cool to see and more on that later you know the vehicle normally is like blacklisted right so you can't even get it from missions but now you can buy it right from the dealership so pick one up as it's definitely recommended and we'll probably go away after this week we also have the Picador the Hermes the Gauntlet Hellfire, and the Penumbra FF. Now, this is a little bit more engaging, and this location is a little bit more engaging because at least Simeon's dealership is an enterable property, and there's no loading screen here. You just use the door like normal, and you walk in just like that. And it's refreshing when you have a game that usually has you walk into that little circle, and they teleport you to an interior space. Now, the bad news, unfortunately, this week is that the M16 service carbine has still not released in GTA Online yet. The crime scene spawns have not been activated, so you still cannot find the weapon components, even if you tried. We're all waiting for this DLC weapon and I hope Rockstar adds it soon. Moving on, we have the podium vehicle this week, which is the Stafford over at the Diamond Casino and Resort. If you head over to the Los Santos car meet, your weekly prize ride is the Trufade Adder, and in order to unlock, you need to place top three in pursuit races three days in a row. Your free rewards this week, there's nothing that I could really find here besides the free $100,000 for logging in. You'll also notice now you probably got the free promotion of $150,000 if you played last week during the Criminal Enterprises DLC update release date, and uh, you, you should be good to go with that. Moving on to the bonuses though, we have a couple of good ones. Really, it's just one good one actually, which is triple money and RP on the Vespucci job. And then we also have a couple of little boosts and bonuses that I was talking about earlier in the video. One of them is double research boost from the new bunker research mission via yourself calling Agent 14. You also get double the supplies from bunker resupply missions. So you could definitely take part of the new mission to get double the research boost and double the supplies. And then we also have increased RP caps, allowing you to earn more RP from missions, races, and death matches. Now, unfortunately, that's just not a whole lot of bonuses here in game, but moving on to the discounts, we have 35% off the half track for $1,465,237. We also have 35% off the Penumbra FF and 35% off the weaponized Tampa. Moving on, we have 40% off the Hauler Custom, 40% off the Hermes, 40% off the Novak, 40% off the Torero, 40% off the Viscerous, and 40% off the XA21. And we also have 50% off all utility vests in the game. Your weekly time trial is Vinewood Hills, so I would definitely recommend the either Shitaro, Hakuchu Drag, or the Bati 801. Your RC Bandito tri time trial is La Fuente Blanca, and your premium race features supercar class. So definitely recommend 
either the Emrys, the Krieger, or the HSW Divest 8 or the Ignis. So definitely stay tuned for a tutorial on each of these on how to complete all of them and get tons of free GTA Online money extremely fast and easy. With all that being said though, let me know what you think of everything in the comments below. Do you enjoy the new Sterling Moss that was added or the luxury auto storefront or Simeon's dealership? I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's new GTA Online update in the comments below, whether you love it, whether you hate it, or just don't care, I'm all ears. With all that being said though, we're gonna wrap things up. Enjoy the tutorial on how to complete the time trials. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.